Just as a warning, this video contains language that is not suitable for minors. You have been warned. Somebody used too much dish soap in our freaking Eastern European fancy ass mother <laughs> dishwasher. Anyway, we kept getting F10 errors. F10 means it is overfilling. Now, the problem is when you use too much dish soap, the entire <laughs> machine suds up. Like, like, ridiculous. Like, we're talking foam city here. What that's going to do is it's going to cause an effect that causes the machine to dump water into the overflow pan. One of the nice safety features of this DASCO dishwasher is that if that pan fills up with water, it's going to trip a safety switch and prevent it from you know, doing its job. Even after you fix the problem of the soap, which by the way, just a little, little half a cup of vinegar takes care of that. It'll kill the soap and yeah. But on this machine, it uh, will continue to produce F10 error codes about 10, 15 minutes into a wash cycle. So here's how we're gonna fix this. I took the kick panel off, it took a little doing. Turns out the son of a bitch is not really glued in, but it's adhered to the, to the uh, foam right up in here. Let's see if I can get that on camera here. That, that foam pad right there. So you're gonna need a T20, a T20 um, bit or a small T20 screwdriver. Now this thing was built in I believe Czechoslovakia where they've got T20s raining from the sky every fucking day. Here in the United States of America, not so much. So I had to disassemble a Torx set and I got me a little one of these. So here are the little Torx screws. All the same, thank God. But the kick panel wouldn't come off. So you've got to very slowly pull it towards you. And you're gonna hear a ripping sound and that's just the foam giving up all it's got. Okay, that's normal, that's fine. You're not gonna break anything. This thing is made in Serbia. Big Serbian hands on big Serbian machines by a guy named Klaus. He knows what he's doing. Okay, that aside, let's see what we got. Okay, let's see if the light kicks in. You can see a little, ref ah, there we go. You can see a little reflecting pool in there. Yeah, that's kind of like that. Now we want to make sure that this is not just a one-off, like maybe this could be from a leak. I don't think it is. It was a one-time thing and it just keeps tripping out. So. Um, again, too much of a good thing, that being water. Well, guess what? Let's take, take a moment and admire how this thing is built. Uh, it's actually pretty well built. This is a, this machine was built to last 20 years plus. It really was. It was built well. There's the water, there's the heater right there. Can you zoom in on that? You see that? I guess one common problem is those terminals can burn off. I read that somewhere. But there's our heater, there's our water, there's our soap. There should be a float in there somewhere, but I don't see it. A float switch. 
That water that you see splashed in there, that's probably from uh, washing the floor, maybe. This machine cost $2,000, brand new. And it looks to be worth every penny of it. All that stainless steel, that is, I believe that is stainless steel. Um, yeah, it's water, water, water. What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna get every dish towel we can find and we're gonna soak that water up. We did not need to remove the dishwasher from the from its uh, hidey hole. We did not need to do that. Now I gotta glue my trim pieces back on, but whatever. Let's slide it back. There's no need to do that. Put it right back where it belongs. Okay. All right. Now we'll put her put her back in her place. So there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can take the machine out of its out of its pocket. Now remember, we unplug this. <laughs> There's no power going to this machine right now. Water is off. It is unplugged. Before I put this cover back on, get all that water. Before I put this cover back on, we're going to run a full cycle. Full cycle. Before we call it good. All right. Okay. I want to make sure that there's no water in the pan after the cycle runs. If there is, well, then we have a bigger problem. And uh, the thing is, ASCO used to make great appliances. I mean, maybe not the most reliable ones, but um, definitely good quality, fancy. Now, the company that services ASCO in the U.S. or the distributor or something to that effect is sub-zero so they were going for the um yeah they were going for a higher end clientele which is not us we're poor folk but i got a wicked good deal on the damn thing i got it for half price and we paid a thousand dollars brand new in the crate <sighs> because you couldn't buy a bosch the only dishwashers you could buy during the pandemic were frigid airs, and I will never let another one grace my kitchen again after some really bad experiences. So I went ahead and I bought the, the Volvo of dishwashers. Okay. Now, well, you know, the thing is, other, other dishwasher manufacturers don't go to the lengths that ASCO has done with this overflow pan, which is integral to the chassis. And I gotta say, I mean, this is a smart design, but they should have made it easier to get to, you know? I mean, it would have been nice to not have to cut my hand to fix this. Thing. They say that you can wait like a week or so. I found another post that says, yeah, just wait a week and it'll clear up. And yeah, this does happen. Uh, when you overflow it but i don't want to have all that water in here for a week i mean look at all those electronics and all those little gizmos in there i don't think they like water do you um so we got the, the float isolated yeah it's designed so here's how it's designed to work so if the water can't drain effectively, and too much soap would do that, what it's going to do is it's going to start to overflow. And it's actually designed this way. It is designed so that water goes down into this pan in either the event of a water leak or in the event of a malfunction. So this would be classified as a malfunction. So water gets into this pan and it shuts the machine down. Um, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of shuts it down. Doesn't do a, It doesn't prevent it from turning on or starting a cycle, which I find bizarre. But it does, um, it does save the machine. So this thing fills up with water and it kills it. Um, that's the idea. That's, that's what they were kind of going for. And it works, it's effective. 
it shut it down all right but it doesn't make my life any easier so other makes um you know they don't have this feature you know your your <coughs> your 200 dollars frigidaires do not have this um they are designed basically to flood your house and cause property damage to let you know that there's something wrong so this is enough water so that float is no longer a float oh, it's kind of floating i need you know what i should do is tilt the machine forward and get all the water up front that would be smart wouldn't it or i can just kind of stuff this rag in there be careful not to cut myself get in my power Okay, turns on, normal wash. Starts, close, let's see what she does. Of course, it's gonna drain out any residue. We'll check back in a few minutes and see if she's flooding again. Water's running. Take a look at that water line. Let's see if it changes. I don't see any movement. That's a good thing. Just looking at that water line. What's left of it. We're going to leave the kick panel off in the meantime. And let air get to it, let it dry up properly. I'll put it back on tomorrow sometime. Or however long it takes. But I don't see any water coming in. It's filling itself up. Good, first pre rinse pre right, pre wash. There you go. Raise the wash cycle. Relays clicking. Let's take a look at that water line, see if it changes. It's thinking. Probably heating up right now, actually. I think I can feel some heat coming off of that. This thing had a leak, we'd know right now. Alright, that's enough. You know, one of the most gut-wrenching things that happens um, in the modern era is because appliances are constantly being built to the penny um, to be as cheap as possible they're more prone to leaks and other failures and because homeowners are more and more apt to using composite materials for their kitchen floors and uh, even if they use tile it doesn't matter when those shitty dishwashers those three hundred dollar builder grade frigidaires and you know the ge's and what what you might call it what ends up happening is you end up ruining your brand new floors like within two years of owning a dishwasher because they leak and they flood and it's kind of a kind of a problem you know but if you get a higher end if you if you do nothing if you buy the cheapest appliances no demand if you buy a higher end dishwasher um like this asco here it'll save your floors as long as the lines going to and from don't leak you're gonna be fine uh, it's about to hit a drain cycle Let's see what... Well, the good news is it's drying. 
What I think really happened, this is what I think really happened. Um, I don't think it was dishwasher soap that did this. I think it was um, Dawn. And uh, I think what happened was someone, I won't name names, but somebody may have put something in there that had like some residue of Dawn dish soap. And uh, that would totally cause this to happen. Um, I got nothing. <laughs> I, I think that's what it was. Uh, because that wasn't, that wasn't Cascade. <laughs> that was something else. Which perhaps Dawn or some other, we got a few other things up there that just probably some residue on the dish it washed off in the wash water. And it just, you know, what's going to happen is it causes the water to foam up. Um, the pump will start to cavitate, and the water level will, in theory, rise, and it starts to pour into the overflow pan, and the machine shuts down, thinking there's a, it's a, it's a malfunction. <laughs> so the hard part was getting it to suds down, um, and I found that a little bit of vinegar came in clutch and took care of that problem. Um, and uh, I've heard some folks recommend a little teaspoon of oil, uh, vegetable oil, and that will kill the sudsing of any dish soap. Um, so that, that I've heard is a recommendation. And in, this, in the case that this happens, those are your remedies and they work. Um, but I'm not gonna rewash these. I'm gonna take them out and we'll put them away and uh, put another load of dishes. I got, we got dishes piled up in there. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Is there a convention going on that I was not invited to? I guess so. Oh yeah? You're going to do that to me? So yeah, just wash it with your dishwasher. Um, so that, uh, I think we're, we're in good shape. We're like State Farm. We're in good hands. So I got to to put this all back together tomorrow we'll let this dry overnight and uh maybe put the parts back in <laughs> all right day two captain's log whoever designed this dishwasher should be shot no i don't really mean that it's a well-built machine i i will i will die on that hill but I can't get this cover back on unless I tilt the machine up like 20 degrees. I can't do that. I don't have enough clearance. I have to pull this thing out almost all the way. Just no, I, I, I could just not put the cover back on, but I don't roll that way. You know, my daddy didn't raise me that way. <laughs> ah, this just never ends. I mean, come on, you know. For such a ridiculous problem, I mean, you know, it could have been worse, right? We could be dealing with a flood on our hands. I could have flooded my kitchen out, but I didn't, you know? Lord Asco saved my flooring. Thank you, Lord Asco. But I can't get the fucking cover back on. I can't get it back on, Edith. I can't. Unless I tilt the machine back considerably. <clears throat> you know? You know what I mean? Like, come on. I didn't do anything to deserve this. <sighs> oh, man. You know? The thing, that, the thing that really bothers me is that this could have been designed differently. You know, it could have been designed a little better, a little more user-friendly maybe. Yeah? Wouldn't it have taken much to make that happen, you know? Wouldn't it have taken much? Just a, a little consideration for the little guy, huh? But... I may have to disconnect the drain hose because to get it out further, I've got the drain hose is completely stretched. It wasn't long enough to begin with, so 
Um, but yeah, I mean, you just can't make this shit up, man. Just make sure we're not stressing it out. I may have to disconnect it from the garbage dispenser. All right. Try it again. You made me bleed, you fucking Croatian piece of shit. I just had to wipe blood off the floor. It was... It looked like a fucking crime scene. Jesus Christ, you over-engineered fucking dishwasher. <sighs> you know... <laughs> Well, that's the price you pay for living in a modern world. You're going to shed a little blood sometimes. But it's all worth it for clean fucking dishes! Anyway. Oh, yeah, i got to clean all that off. Otherwise, someone is going to... Long after I'm dead, someone's going to take this dishwasher out and replace it with a $200 Frigidaire, and they're going to wonder if it was the site of a massacre. Well, technically, it kind of was, but my God. There we go, we'll slide her back in there and the whole... You know, one of the things I did when I put this floor in, this is a vinyl composite floor. I waxed the... I actually extended the floor out. So originally there was no sub... There was um, there was no underlayment under, under the cabinet. So the underlayment, which is um, 7 eighths plywood, it goes up to the cabinet frames. That's how the house was actually built. Okay, now I gotta put these fucking things back on. Ugh. You know, the one concern I think I really have with this machine long term is the extensive use of plastics. And, you know, we all know plastics kind of suck. How many notches is it supposed to be out? I don't I don't even it looks like it's not in right. Isn't there like a isn't there like a guide that, that slides into or something? Yeah, this one's got it. What about this one? So you've gotta set the depth of these uh, these these little guides here yeah there we go and um i don't know how far these are supposed to go in because this is where the kick panel goes i think it goes in all the way actually on this one it's supposed to match up with the toe kick on your cabinets but i don't believe there's enough see these cabinets aren't built to modern standards they're built to you know um, these are hand-built cabinets that were built by the house builders, uh, contractors. So they're built in place and uh, they're not exactly like your modern, you know, <clears throat> your modern Home Depot specials. These are hand-built. It's a selling feature now for luxury homes, but back then it was just standard practice. Um, but this little sound insulating panel goes in there and soaks up all the water from the floor wax and you know, clean the floors um, as it will do. Ugh. I meant to go pick up some construction adhesive to put my, um, to put my, uh, who's he what's it back? Oh, I got to clean this toe kick. It's pretty disgusting. Let's, let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Let's try to clean it. Getting too old for this. Okay. Let's see what we got. Does it fit? Oh yeah, kinda. Kinda sorta. Ooh. Yeah, so you wanna get it as close to the 
Fuck. Really? Cut. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that one fits. This one is like, nah, I don't want to fit. Thank you. Damn it. What the hell? This isn't supposed to... This blanket isn't supposed to look like that. Like it's supposed to be, like, well above the, uh... Demilitarized is on here. It's kind of supposed to be way tucked up in there shouldn't be sticking out on the floor like that but that's okay see it's got these um unless it's supposed to go the other way no 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 i had it right the first time sorry you can't see shit i apologize you're not really missing much i guarantee it you fucking fuck there we go oh cat's meowing he wants in um, let's see what we got here. Let me in, let me in. I'll wait to in a minute, pal. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got this time. I got it as clean as I could get it. Um, but yeah, this is... It's latching. Oh, there we go. Ah, all right. Woohoo. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, all done. It's flush like it's supposed to be. It's actually, that is the correct position for that toe kick. It was sticking out a little bit too far before, so. And the door should be able to open all the way without. Good. All right. <sighs> No, I don't need that. Um, so, short story long, um, ASCO is, um, was a Swedish-owned company up until very recently. Um, as a matter of fact, shortly after I bought this machine, the company was bought out, I believe, by either Hayer or one of those other Chinese conglomerates. So ASCO is no longer building... Um, maybe they are. They're still considered a higher-end brand, like on par with or above Bosch. Um, but in the U.S., I don't believe they're importing the laundry machines anymore. And um, I believe they've gone the way of the Chinese quality. Um, so, yeah, in, in a world where nothing is sacred anymore... Your Swedish dishwasher or Swedish washing machine or whatever else you've got is once again owned by the Chinese. Um, they have been buying up everything they can possibly sink their teeth into, which is kind of kind of sad. It is. It, it, it's just it's sad. Because um, again, it's a well built product. I we have had no troubles. We've had no issues. Not one problem. Since I bought this thing over two years ago, not one problem, but somehow some, some of the wrong stuff got put in there and it suds up the entire machine. It caused water to fill into the overflow container or the overflow pan, shuts the machine down, and it took me a few bruises and cuts to get the fucking panel off so I can empty the fucking overflow pan which should have been a five-minute process. <sighs> God damn it. It's all set, though. Um, it ran a full cycle last night, and um, we're good to go. No water has been leaking into the pan. There's still a little bit of moisture down in there, but I'm not going to worry. It'll, it'll dry on its own. I'm not going to freak out over it. It'll be fine. Um, but we want to get this put back together so we can clean the kitchen, you know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.